All right, so ladies and gentlemen, last class period, we went over graphing a quadratic when it's in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, right? And then from there, we learned to identify uh, the axis of symmetry. Axis symmetry, which was x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. And then we learned how to identify the vertex, vertex, which was the coordinate point opposite of b divided by 2a, comma, the function f of opposite of b divided by 2a. And basically, remember what that meant is you took whatever the axis of symmetry was, then that was your x-coordinate of your vertex, then you plugged that value back into your equation or your function to find the y-value of your vertex. And remember, your vertex was your maximum point or your minimum points, right? All right, so now what we're going to learn is a different way that we can represent quadratics. Remember how we had um, lines? Sometimes we had ax plus by equals c. And then we also could write lines as y equals mx plus b. And usually when we graphed, we, if we had something in this form, a lot of times we just rewrite it in that format, right? Well, the same thing is with quadratics. We have quadratics that are going to be in this format, which is our standard form. And sometimes we're going to have quadratics which are in another form, which is what we call the vertex form. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So you're going to want to write down vertex form, because that's what we're going to be doing today. <coughs> vertex form. Now, later. I will show you how to convert from standard form to vertex form. But for today, I am just going to focus on under doing problems that are in vertex form. And the reason why this is called vertex form, that's it over there. Um, Shane, if you could go and give him a sheet of paper. Shane, you give Zach a sheet of paper that I gave him. So this is what we have, vertex form. The reason why it's called vertex form is because vertex, the vertex in this problem, is simply the coordinate point h comma k. That's it. So whenever you have a problem in this format, you can identify that the vertex is just h comma k, and the axis of symmetry is just x equals h. OK? So let's just, um, that's basically going to be um, our divider. Now, there's a couple other things that, we, that is important about vertex form. Remember how we determined if a graph opened up or a graph opened down? Right? Remember, we had sometimes on your problem, sometimes the graph opened up, sometimes the graph opened down. But the only way that you guys could determine that was basically using your table of values and seeing from the vertex, did the points go down or the points go up? Well, there actually is a rule which actually works for vertex form and for standard form. And that rule is if A is less than 0, then the graph opens down. And if a is greater than 0, then the graph opens up. OK? It's not amazing. It's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> and that's going to be, that'll be it through what you'll talk about from there. <clears throat>